Welcome, follow me say Sharp Aquas R2 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. And as you can see obviously the phone in front of me is locked and I can unlock it either using a verification pattern, seen right here, or using the Google account. Now assuming we don't know either of those, to begin the process we're just gonna go back to the first page right over here and we're gonna start off by changing the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So if you scroll down uh, right around from here, uh, basically every language uh, downwards will work. Uh, so it does need to have a different keyboard and all of those do have one. So from there select any kind of language that you want to use and proceed to the setup as you did before. And all you want to do is gain access to the field where we get to log in with our Google account once more. And from here you want to tap on the field and for some reason it didn't work for me right now. I know this sometimes happens, um, it's completely random honestly, uh, but if you see a globe icon right here next to the spacebar instead of this emoji icon, uh, then you're good, you don't need to do anything, just hold that and we'll bring up the language settings but for me it didn't show up so I need to go back to the first page and just again choose another language. And there we go, as you can see there is the globe icon. So let's hold it and then go to language settings, which is this uh, text at the bottom right over here. Then choose add keyboard, which is this blue button at the bottom. And from here, select any kind of language that doesn't have an arrow. So if we scroll down, you should see that there are some that do have an arrow, but you want to select ones that do not. So choose anyone without an arrow up on the add which is again the blue button and once you do simply go back to again the first page and from here you can select whatever language you want to use so for me I'm gonna select again English let's go to the United States and again we're gonna go back to the Google verification page And as you can see, there is still the globe icon. So now let's hold it. Again, go to language settings, add a keyboard. And this time around, you're looking for one with an arrow, which for me in English, it's Albanian. Then tap on that three dots and go to help and feedback. This in turn will open up the support window right here. And what you wanna do is tap on describe your issue uh, and change the keyboard back to English. So again, hold the globe icon select QWERTY and I now type in Morse so MO uh, seems to bring up uh, the uh, use Morse code as a suggested option so select it then tap on the video choose three dots now you do need internet for that I probably should have mentioned that from the beginning uh, but obviously you need that to see the Google verification page anyway uh, so once you tap on it, um, as you've seen, you have the three dot option and then you want to choose watch later and this will open up your web browser. From here, tap on accept and continue and no thanks, you don't want to sign, sync anything. Then tap on the field right there to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass website. like so. If you need a moment to write it down, you can pause the video right now. Yeah, so once you're on the bypass section of this website, what you want to do is scroll down to this section right here. So tap on the settings app and this will in turn open up your settings app. And now all you need to do 
is go to let's see um security i believe if i can actually find it there we go security scroll down and choose there we go screen pinning enable screen pinning and then unlock device when unpinning and this will bring up this uh, window right here to basically set up a lag screen now i didn't mention it but you probably already seen it uh, throughout at the beginning the way to unlock the device uh, was either through the google account or using a pattern so just to keep it a little bit different i'm gonna select, select something completely different so i'm gonna go with a pin just to completely change it up and so it's not basically the same as the pattern because who knows i could basically set the pattern the same way as it was before um, so before there was a pattern we're going with the pin now so let's tap on yes and from here you want to use any kind of pen so you can set it up to whatever you want it doesn't need to be anything specific it can be something as simple as one two three four tap on next confirm it now so again one two three four and confirm and there we go your pin has been set and now what you want to do is hold the par key and simply tap on restart and basically what uh, we have just done was we have overrid the previous uh, locking or unlocking method so before it was the pattern but by setting up a well uh, screen lock as we did right now and changing it to pin it also changed it in the unlocking method so now instead of a pattern we will see a pin which obviously we know the code to because we have set it ourselves and all we really need to do is just type one two three four and the device will basically unlock now it would be still um, advised that once you unlock it using this method you go through the settings and perform a factory reset of the device through settings and this will ensure that you remove any kind of leftover from the well, the device that was blocking us uh, which i will do assuming i can uh, the device has a fairly low battery so um, we will see if it will allow me to reset it okay so right here i did uh, set it to uh, i think by mistake just so uh, i did set it that it pops up the pin as required when the device is booting up so i do need to confirm one two three four which is the pin that i have chosen and then it's actually going to boot into android So once the device boots back up, again proceed through the setup as you did before. Uh, for some reason I do need to, oh no, never mind. There we go, it connected to Wi-Fi. And now should be the window where we need to verify. And there we go so as i said before there was a pattern before but now it's changed to pin and the pin is the same one that we have chosen so one two three four next and we have just unlocked the device and as you can see now we can sign in or simply skip now i'm gonna skip through majority of this because like i said the process would uh, was still required you to uh, re reset the device okay let's, again one two three four and skip so like i said i'm just trying to finish up the setup as quickly as i can uh, so i don't actually waste time here and there we go so we are now on the home screen there we go and once it loads simply go to the settings by going pulling down the notification panel, extending it, tapping on the gear icon and from here you want to scroll all the way down to system tap on advanced and here we have reset options and in the reset options we have erase all data factory reset and this will in turn reset the entire device but it will do something more which is remove the previous 
Google account that was uh, blocking us. And once it's finished, we should be then back in the setup screen uh, with a device uh, fully unlocked at that point. Now I'm gonna see if I can do it, even though I have 13% battery. Yeah, I, I am unable to. I would need to charge it to 20. But all you need to do is tap on erase all data and you'll basically go through the factory reset of the device and be back at the start of the setup screen where at that point you can set up your device as however you like. And like I said, it will be fully unlocked so you can skip Wi-Fi or sign into it, um, add Google account or skip, it's all dependent to you. Uh, but that is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.